Adding and resizing columns and rows. We can add rows and we can add columns. And so, for example, if I highlight this column, I can come up and I can insert a column to the left or right. I'm going to insert it to the right of the one I have selected. And then I'll put in here checked by. You know, checked by. And I can also have, I'll go to uh, insert one to the right. And I'm going to pan over a little bit here. And uh, so you can see here. And I can put in here saying uh, date approved. And uh, so I can add columns as I want. I can also select on a row and I can insert above and I can put in here uh, revision A Oop, revision A and uh, I yeah. and I can put another one in and I'm going to insert above I'm going to call it revision B Oop, revision B and typically the revisions uh, the revisions start at A when you're in designing mode and they go up A, B, C and each as we're designing things and then when it's the building is built it's for construction and it's at zero or when the part a mechanical part is made or produced it's at zero then after the building is built and there's a modification after the building's built it's revision one and two etc or after the part is in service then it's revision one and two uh, to the changes of the parts. But in the design mode, the initial design, we give them letters. And then when we build it, it's zero. And then changes after it's built are one, two, three, etc. We can come down and you can highlight a row and we can delete a row. And we can highlight multiple rows. Uh, we can do it with by picking, etc. Uh, and we can say we want to delete rows. And we can come in and actually uh, delete, you know, we can delete a column if we wish to. Uh, we also have some ability to control uh, our sizes of things. So if I pick on let's say well how about let me uh, throw in some description here and I'm in here and I'm adding some really long and did all kinds of extra let's see extra extra stuff to this part let's say and I'll click outside. You notice how my row is changed now to an extra wider width. If we want them all to be the same, I can also size everything equal. I can pick on my table and then in the right hand corner, oop, um, when I pick on the table, I pick in the upper right hand corner. So I pick both my rows and columns. I right click. If I go to say rows, I can size all the rows equally. And now it'll make then all my uh, rows, whoop, it'll make all of my rows then the same size. So we can control all the rows equally, uh, make them equally, and all the columns equally if, if we like. And uh, so we can add, resize columns and rows, and we can delete those. And we're going to do that. Uh, mainly over here in the rows and columns or by right clicking on the upper right hand upper left hand corner of our table and when we do that we can come down to rows and columns and we get sizes of rows and uh, sizes of columns